Hi, this is Jill McKeever from Simple Daily Recipes, and this video is for all the newbies who are attending Health Fest 2006 in Marshall, Texas. Boy, are you in for some fun! This will be my fourth year to attend Health Fest. Yeah, I'm a big fan, and this year I think it's going to be my favorite because I get to meet Dr. Neil Bernard. Okay, let's start with hotels. Now, whether you're flying in or you're driving, we're all going to be neighbors with each other, okay? So, like this year, I'm staying at the Fairfield Inn. Uh, last year, I stayed at the Hampton Inn, and the year before that, I stayed at the Hampton Inn, and the year before that, I stayed at the Hampton Inn. No matter what, we're all in the same block, okay? Right here off of Highway 20 and uh, 59, all the hotels are hanging out with each other, okay? So, we're going to all land here. And then checkout time or registration time for Health Fest is uh, starts at four o'clock. Which and Friday night, all the festivities are going to be at the Marshall Convention Center. And if you look here, the convention center is just five minutes north of our hotels. Okay, see right here, I got right here Marshall Convention Center right here at the top. This is going to be so much fun. So you know, as soon as you get uh, at your hotel and you unload your baggage, then just head five minutes up the road. There's plenty of parking at the convention center and get ready to have some fun. Okay. Uh, I've got some pictures here from a couple of years ago. I love this time, uh, this night because it's a chance to run into people that you talk to online all the time. Uh, here's a selfie, me and Robin. Here's me meeting Beth, uh, Barbara and her daughter. Uh, that we had a vegetarian chili cook-off last year. It was really fun. There's Chef Del Sruv and uh, Chef Christy Morgan. Saw them in the crowd. Here's my friend Karen and Shanna. It's, a, it's just fun because you get to watch everybody come in, whether they're just a regular attendee of the event or the actual speakers themselves. It's cool. Now, it's also a great opportunity for us or for you to get those cookbooks or books that you didn't get a chance to get, you know, online uh, or, you know, from someone that you want them to sign their book. Does that make sense? Uh, so there's all, all the books from all the speakers that will be there plus more books are all there for sale. So you can just bring, um, you know, your debit card or your credit card. They, they're they all smartphone ready and they can, uh, you can make your purchases there. So that's cool. There's lots of t-shirts. Uh, and get your favorite vegan or your favorite herbivore shirt there that is usually set up. And it's just a great chance. Here, here's Kathleen, Catherine LaRusso and her, her sweet love muffin. And I get to hang out with them. She's going to be here this year. And she's selling some raw vegan crack bars. I cannot wait. I'm going to stock up when I see her. It was just really cool. It's a great time to just get to know everybody. There's Chef AJ and there's Matt Frazier. It is so much fun. Do not be afraid to come up to these wonderful people and ask for a selfie. They are primed and ready and they love to get pictures with their fans. So do not be shy. Okay, and there's some strange people that let me take a picture of them. You know, here's me and some more fans. There's me and Ellen Jeff and Jones. Oh, so cool. <gasps> See, there's one of those moments. When you see somebody that is your absolute favorite and you just like, oh, do not be afraid to grab that selfie. Even if you're wearing bunny ears, they will say yes. It's pretty cool. This is actually the second time I met Dr. Campbell. I met him the first time at Health Fest back in 2013. That was a big deal too. Okay, enough about that. Okay, so Friday night, it's big time. You're, we're just at, at the convention center. You're going to have a lot of fun. This year, there's going to be a lot going on. They're going to do it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people get up and talk for like 15 minutes at a time. And we're going to get a lot of information and uh, have a good time meeting everybody. Stephanie Red Cross. Oh, not Stephanie Red Cross. Let me, let me scroll up here. I'm on the wrong day. I'm on the schedule. If you, if you don't know who's going to be where, you can go to the healthfest.com event schedule page and check out what's going on hour by hour. So um, anyways, on, if you look at event day one, you'll see all the stuff that we're gonna, we're gonna learn already. Right out of the chute, they're gonna start filling our heads with all this great plant-based uh, nutrition, evidence-based information. It's gonna be cool. 
Okay, so there's, you know, there's Friday night, right? So we're going to, we're going to be in one place Friday night. We're going to get all this great stuff. And then after that, what, probably by 9, about 8.45, you get a chance to get your books out and go up to these people and get your books signed by your favorite plant-based expert. That is is so awesome and it is a great opportunity to get your selfie too so again they're totally primed to get their pictures taken and sign books so don't be shy okay now uh, um, as far as food is concerned I happen to know that Lanny Mulrath I may go back and forth on the food part I happen to know that Lanny Mulrath has work has been working with the Boys and Girls Club um, to have a table, I think it is, a food cart. And she's given, um, trained them on how to prepare her recipes from the Plant Pure Nation cookbook. I'm sorry I don't have a, like a picture of her just yet. But um, let me give you an idea of what we can expect from this food cart because the food cart will be at the convention center Friday night and it will also be at the Visual Arts Center uh, parked out in the parking lot of the Visual Arts Center for uh, on Saturday and Sunday so what we can expect from them Friday night will probably be the portobello pot roast bow tie pasta bow tie pasta with pesto Buddha bowl and cornbread okay uh, Saturday morning we can expect uh, steel cut oats with dried berries and nuts for breakfast or a fruit bowl with oat nut topping pumpkin muffins with date cream Mighty muffins, which are made with bananas, walnuts, and raisins, and then oh, a, with a sweet bean cream. Okay, I want all that for breakfast, don't you? Oh gosh, I can't wait. And then for lunch, they're going to be serving up a chicken, a chicken salad with chickpeas, not real chicken, taco and pita bar, black bean spread, sour cream, guacamole, more Buddha bowls. Oh, that's going to be good. And then for dessert, double chocolate cherry truffles fruit pie with the date nut crust I want all that I may just eat there the whole weekend you watch me all of it 100% vegan and I bet all of it one I bet most of it will be oil free it doesn't say that but I bet it is because Lanny Mulrath is a good cook nice and healthy okay now let's talk about downtown and getting around on Saturday and Sunday okay Friday night was a lot of fun now it's time to get down to business Okay, so for the rest of the weekend, we're going to spend our time in the down, at the downtown square of Marshall, Texas. Now, I've got my Google Maps up here, and I just want you to see that everything is very centrally located. Once you get downtown, you just need to park your car at the first place that you're going to attend and just leave it there. And be prepared to just walk the rest of the day. Everything is so close to each other and they've really timed it out that it'll probably only take you maybe 10 minutes to get from one uh, building to another. It really is close, okay? Now, if you have, um, you know, if you have knee or knee problems or you can't walk that far, then you probably, then, you know, yes, you could take your car from one place to another, but it's really not necessary. If you're healthy and you don't have any problems, then just just uh, find a good parking place and uh, and just keep it there. There's no need for you to uh, get back in your car and have to go back to the hotel, or there's no need for you to go and find somewhere to eat or anything like that. Food and uh, refreshments and things like that will all be easy to get to on foot. Trust me. Okay, so um, Saturday morning, I'm going to give you an example of what I'm doing, okay? So Saturday morning, I'm back here on the event schedule place. Um, I'm going to go listen to uh, Dr. Greger first thing at 8 o'clock. Now, there's some other things going on this morning, uh, but I'm going to, you know, sleep in a little bit, get my rest, because it's going to be a long day, and I've got lots of stuff planned. So I'm going to go see Dr. Greger at 8 o'clock. Okay, and he is going to be at the Visual Arts Center. So let's go back to the Google map. And I just want to show you right here at the top is the Marshall Arts, not Marshall Arts, the Marshall Center Arts. No, sorry, I'm messing that up. Marshall Visual Arts Center. Okay, now I just want you to see, take a look. 
Um, this, this building in particular has a, plenty of parking in the back of it and all the way around it on the streets. Um, I'm probably going to park my, my van behind this building if there's available space and then I'm just going to leave it there the whole day. I'm going to walk the whole rest of the afternoon, okay? And you'll also see that there's restaurants here that you probably noticed when you were looking at the Health Fest site. The Blue Frog Grill is here. That's got a great black bean burger I'll show you in just a little bit. Um, down here, just one block over, you see the Michelson Museum of Art. Okay, so that's easy to get to. And then if you just go over one more block, I'm going to pull this up. You'll see um, down here on Houston Street and Boulevard is the Candelera. That's where all the cooking demos are going to be held. Okay, that's important to know. I know that you're going to be at the cooking demos just like I am. It's going to be fun. Okay, and then if you look over here, uh, one important place here is Central Perk. So just, you know, go up a couple of blocks, you'll see Central Perks. If you love espresso-based drinks, um, uh, that's a great place to stop. And also, they last year they did a magnificent job with their buffets. A lot of us just went right over there at lunchtime and uh, started picking out. Now, let's talk about lunch real quick. There's a lot of people that attend Health Fest, okay? So if you think I'll go over at 12 and start eating my lunch at 12, you can bet that 100 other people have that same idea. So if you want to plan to eat lunch early, that might be a good idea, or be prepared to have a late lunch. But if you think 12 o'clock straight up, I just want you to know everybody else thinks that too. So this year, I think I'm going to have lunch at 11 o'clock and hopefully they'll be serving then. I'm pretty sure they will be because there were so many people that came and ate at the same time last year. It was crazy. When it comes to scheduling and knowing where I need to be at what time, I have to do a little planning ahead of time. Before I even get in the car to head to Marshall, I go ahead and set up my schedule. It's just, it's kind of like, you know, uh, when you're registering for college, you know, there's, there's so many things to be done and there's several things that go on in the same hour that we have to choose what we want to do each hour uh, throughout the three days or at the Saturday and Sunday of the festival. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and use the event schedule page and scroll down and look at what you want to go to. Okay, and notice, look at those times. There are, let's see, on event two, if you look, there's two things happening first thing Saturday morning. There are three things happening uh, right after that. At eight o'clock, we have Raising Healthy and Happy Vegan Children. At the same time, uh, Dr. Greger is going to be answering uh, your questions are answered. Uh, and then I, then we're going to have Victoria Moran with the youthfulness formula. See, you, we have to make choices on which awesome person we want to uh, listen to. Um, so, uh, so write them down and think about it. Now, just like we were talking, I showed you earlier, um, you know, next to... You know, on, on every place where we know someone's speaking, they have shown us here on Health Fest what building they're going to be speaking in, okay? So let me show you what I do to keep on top of it. Um, at registration, they give us a sheet, uh, a PDF, or they give us a printout of the whole schedule. So if you want to carry that around, you can, but I've got something even better. I use my Google Calendar to keep track of what I'm, where I'm going and what I'm doing next. So let me give you a peek of that. Okay, so what I do is I look at my schedule, I look at the schedule and I decide who I want to see. And then I go over here to my Google Calendar and I will put an event in. I'll mark an event. So here on Saturday morning, first thing at 8 o'clock from 8 to 9, I'm going to see Dr. Greger and he's going to be in the Visual Arts Center. Now, I have this uh, set to give me a, a pop-up notice 30 minutes before that happens, okay? So that's all there's to it. I just set the time and, and set the color, and then I'm done, okay? And then I've gone ahead, and I've done that for everything that I've wanted to see. I can see right away when I look at my calendar on my smartphone um, what's going to happen next and how much time I have. 
Uh, on Saturday, I happen to have a break between Dr. Greger and Dr. Neil Bernard, and I'm going to use that time to kind of catch up on my breakfast, maybe get a, another cup of uh, tea going, uh, maybe get a vlog with Dr. Greger, get some more selfies with friends and stuff like that. And so I'm just going to enjoy that hour before the next uh, speaker comes on, okay? And then you can see here, I'm actually volunteering this year, so I'll be hanging out at the Visual Arts Center, helping out, and then there's the rest of my afternoon. I have everything marked so that it'll give me a notification on my phone to remind me where I need to go next so I don't have to carry around the schedule the whole time. Pretty smart, huh? Yeah? There's been some talk on Facebook, I've been watching, where there's some newbies talking about whether they should bring their iPods along and cook a meal in their hotel room. Now that sounds really fun. The idea of a bunch of friends getting together and having something, uh, cooking something up in the Instapot, it sounds great. But let me just say, it's really not necessary. Unless you're someone with diet restrictions. If you all, you know, uh, have a certain diet that you're already following for your health or maybe you have allergies, well then you, you know that you already have to uh, prepare yourself, in, you know, to make sure that you have something to eat. But if you don't have diet restrictions or allergies and you're just thinking about how to make sure that you've got a hot meal, let me just say there's plenty of food at Health Fest plenty of food. With Lanny Meal Rest Food Club and the restaurants that are downtown, there's plenty of places to eat and to get a hot meal. And you're going to be so full, I tell you. There's no time. Once you have come off of a, a whole day of lectures and cooking demos and yoga and Zumba and all that stuff, you're going to be so tired, too tired to make anything in your hotel room. You're going to want to just go back to your hotel room and pass out on your bed. Trust. Okay, and as things start to wind down on Saturday evening, you look, uh, take a look here at the five o'clock, there's a wine and cheese uh, tasting at, at the uh, Michelson Museum. You do not want to miss that. That was so much fun. We had we had a wine and cheese last year at Health Fest, and it was so great. If you can, show up on time. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to try Miyoka Schinner's Artisan Cheese, and also an opportunity to try some of the wines from the local vineyards, and to rub elbows with some of your favorite plant-based people. Now, some of you crazy people want to get involved in the 5K. All the power to you. I'm going to sleep in on Sunday morning. That's just me. Probably just kind of lounge around, get my strength up, because Sunday, believe it or not, is just as jam-packed with information and cooking demos as Saturday. Yeah, they don't cut that day in half. It's not quite the day of rest that you might think it would be. Like I said, we're starting the day with a 5K run. Oh my gosh, how insane is that? And at 8 o'clock in the morning, what? No, I'm going to have my tea. Thank you. I will be cheering y'all on from my hotel room. Yeah. Sunday doesn't start winding down until about 4 o'clock. The last event of the day, thankfully, has nothing else competing against it. It's the all-star panel. Now, that's a lot of fun. Let me show you. Uh, I've got a picture for that. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's going backwards. Let me go the other way. Is this it? Oh, that's some food. There's Chef AJ. There's Matt Frazier. I met him last year. Okay, so this is a picture of the all-star panel. This is the end of the day on Sunday. We get a lot of our favorite speakers. It's a great uh, opportunity for us to ask them one last question. It's so cool. Chef AJ, she's such a card. She usually uh, can uh, narr or not narrates, but she uh, emcees the whole thing. And you can see by this panel, we got Mioka Schinner, Lonnie Muellrath, Dr. Garth Davis, Rich Roll. Uh, that was Dr. Joel Olsfield. Uh, there was Ellen Jeffa Jones when she was here the, that year. And then Gene Bauer, he was there. It was a lot of fun. So, so if you have the strength, hang on to the very end because it's always good. Hellfest is good to the very last hour, okay? Um, and let's talk about scheduling real quick. Back to the maps for just a moment. Now, after we've had a wonderful uh, breakfast and we've had lunch and we've had dinner downtown uh, and Health Fest has done so well to take care of us, we might run into or you might run into a situation where you forgot something that you want to have back at your hotel room. 
have no fear, Marshall still takes care of us. Okay, so here back at the map where we have the hotels, I just want to show you, kind of drive with me from the hotel. Take that road uh, from your hotel, 59, and take it north past the Marshall Convention Center and just head north up to Highway 80. Right before you get to the intersection of Highway 80, there is a Kroger, and it's a nice Kroger, and they have uh, some plant-based uh, choices there. This is where I stopped to get my plain unsweetened silk milk in the aseptic, gar aseptic carton last year so I could have some milk for my chai tea in the morning. Okay, so you can shop at that Kroger. Uh, that, again, that's like 10 minutes uh, north of the hotels, and you can, you know, get what you need there. If you need to pick up some more fresh fruit or something like that, you want to uh, you know, kind of repack for your snacks for the way home or something like that. There, that Kroger is a good Kroger to shop at. Um, there's also a Superfoods one across the way, but I have not shopped there. I don't know what they have. Um, and then just around the corner, um, I just, just noticed here, there's a Subway. Yeah, you know, Subway sandwiches. I'm not too good here. I love their veggie sub sandwiches. And I happen to know that, um, Dr. T. Colin Campbell likes to go to Subway and get his veggie subs uh, when he's traveling. Isn't that cool? So if you want to grab a sandwich for, you know, the road trip home or maybe just need a little extra something to take back to the hotel or something, you just want to just pack some insurance for yourself, there is a good Subway right there off Grand Avenue. Okay, so there you go. That was the last little map tip there. <laughs> And finally, I just want to share with you what I plan to pack uh, for road snacks and then what I, you know, typically carry when I go to Health Fest. All right, so just come to the kitchen with me and I'll show you what I've got on the counter so far. Whew. All right, now I'll tell you, I can't actually eat all this food, okay? I, mean, I could try. I'm going to have two car mates with me this year. And so I'm trying to prepare uh, or bring enough for myself and to share, okay? Uh, so uh, for sure, I am going to pressure cook before I leave. I'm going to use my iPod and I'm going to pressure cook some baby, yellow baby potatoes and some red potatoes. Oh, and I want to get out my black salt. Where's my black salt? There we go. And my black salt, because I like my, I like potatoes, cooked potatoes plain, but I also like them with a little black salt to make me think that I'm eating boiled eggs. Have you done that before? Have you ever sprinkled black salt on your potatoes? They're good. Okay. Um, also, just for for car snacks, you know, I'm, I, I probably eat more in the car than, than any other time when I'm traveling, okay? So I've got, I, I like to pack a lot of salt. So I've got some of these Mary's crackers that I'm bringing, car food. I've got some giant apples for snacking. Um, with my rolled oats, I'm going to um, pour these in a little Ziploc bag, season them with c cinnamon, drop in some dried fruit, and I'm just gonna prepare a bag of oatmeal, okay? So that when I get to my hotel room, I'm going to, uh, you know, pour some seasoned oat, rolled oats into a bowl and uh, maybe cover that with water or maybe if I pick up some um, silk milk from Kroger, then I'll pour some of that over that, over my oatmeal, and uh, then I can have like a quick oatmeal breakfast, okay? So that's what I'm thinking there. Uh, more car food, uh, pretzels, you know, this guilty pleasure there. Just got me some more salt. Um, I plan tonight to make a, a loaf of banana bread, and that's because I admit I have a sweet tooth. Uh, I know that when I come home on Saturday, Friday night, and all right, well, when I come back to the hotel, Friday night and Saturday night, I'm going to want something sweet. And so I'm going to make a banana bread for myself and for my, um, for my uh, roommate for us to nibble on. I also have some dates. I'm bringing a whole package of dates. Again, not just for me, but for my car mates, for us, for those sweet tooth attacks. Um, I'm also bringing some candied ginger. 
I like eating candied ginger when I get an upset tummy. And this is also good dropped in a cup of hot water and having ginger tea, so that's good too. So I like doing that. I'm probably going to want to relax with some hot water with ginger in it before I go to bed. Um, more car snacks and purse snacks. Uh, well, I'll carry my backpack, um, and so I'm going to drop uh, mandarin oranges in here. I usually like to carry about four to six mandarin oranges with me when I'm uh, when I know that I'm going to get hungry. So um, I'm carrying a box of chai tea, tea bags, and I'll probably keep a couple of those in my purse so I can have, if I can get a hold of hot water, then I can save myself money uh, from having to buy coffee all the time or buy tea from the coffee shops. Um, I'm also carrying a, a hot pot, and this is my travel hot pot. So I plan to make a big, uh, I plan to fill this up with chai tea so that when we're on the road, we can have hot tea while we travel and we don't have to depend on places like Starbucks. Uh, we can save our money and, um, uh, you know, and uh, just save our money. You know, we'll still have to stop and go to the bathroom, but we want to spend our money on our caffeine fix. Okay, and then uh, there's my water bottle. Got my water bottle and that's it. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm bringing. I'm just planning for backup breakfast, snacks, things to drink and road snacks. So snacks, snacks during health fast, that's between lectures. The fruit is for between lectures. The salty stuff is for when I'm in the car because that's when I crave it when I'm driving. Okay, there you go. There's all my honesty. There's how I roll when I go to health fast, plain and simple. So if you have any questions, be sure to post them in the comments below. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any of them. If I've missed something, I can't imagine what. It feels like this video has gone on forever. If you're still with me, thank you for watching. I hope I've been helpful to you. Uh, I'll let you go. Uh, I love you, and I'll see you at Health Fest. I will be wearing my bunny ears, so look for my ears. All right, now I'll let you go. Bye.